And a city park in southern Utah vandalized, and authorities say whoever did the damage was not shy about it. ABC4 Greg's Neft has more on what exactly happened there. This ground right next to me pretty well dug up and damaged last week was part of a pristine grassy field inside a city park. Now police in Parowan want to know who's responsible. As police can best tell, this happened on Sunday at Lions Park. The damage, as you can see, telltale signs of tire tracks in a figure eight formation. The vehicle started to pull some younger children, probably eight or ten years old, um, on a rope behind the truck. They're kind of making loops through the entire park. Chief Berg tells me the children were most likely not in danger after that ride. Unfortunately, right where the damage occurred the most, our cameras don't show that, that angle right there. Um, but it's very obvious that they got out here and just started spinning donuts. But Chief Berg tells me the damage is even more than meets the eye. Broke sprinkler heads that caused uh, damage to the lawn surfaces. Um, so the, the, the initial cost um, determined by Perron Public Works was about 2,500, but we'll have to wait till spring. Police have been investigating. They don't think the suspects are local. Um, we don't believe the vehicle is from the Perron or even really Cedar City area. Um, we get a lot of tourists this time of year going up to the Brian Head Ski Resort. And beyond the money this will cost, it hurts the city's pride. Perron residents are proud of their stuff, and so this, this kind of hit a hot spot for them. Now, Chief Berg tells me right now they're not offering any kind of reward. They would like whoever's responsible to turn themselves in. In Parowan, Greg Neft, ABC4 News.